Brought to you by wikivd.com Ben Pascal Benjamin Edwin Pascal was an American baseball outfielder who played eight seasons in Major League Baseball from 1915 to 1929, mostly for the New York Yankees. After two cup of coffee, stints with the Cleveland Indians in 1915 and the Boston Red Sox in 1920, Pascal spent most of his career as the fourth outfielder and right-handed pinch hitter of the Yankees Murderers Road Championship teams of the late 1920s. Pascal is best known for hitting .360 in the 1925 season while standing in for Babe Ruth, who missed the first 40 games with this stomach ailment. During his time in baseball, Pascal was described as a five-tool player who excelled at running, throwing, fielding, hitting for average and power. However, his playing time with the Yankees was limited because they already had future baseball Hall of Famers Ruth and Earl Combs and star Bob Musil. In the outfield, Pascal was considered one of the best bench players in baseball during his time. With the Yankees and sports writers wrote how he would have started. For most other teams in the American League, he was one of the best pinch hitters in the game. During the period at a time when the term was still relatively new to baseball, Early life The son of farmers Pascal was born in Enterprise, Alabama and grew up in nearby Sanford. He played collegiate sports at the University of Alabama, before beginning his professional career with Dothan of the Georgia State League where he played with future Hall of Fame player Bill Terry. Pascal played in 64 games with a .280 batting average and his ability attracted the attention of scouts in the area. Early career Signed as a pinch hitter for the Cleveland Indians at age 19, Pascal appeared in nine games, collecting one hit on August 16, which broke up a no-hitter by Bernie Boland. With two outs in the ninth inning, the Indians declared Pascal too inexperienced and he was sent to the Muskegon Reds of the Central League. The league disbanded in the middle of the 1917 season, and Pascal became a free agent. After a two-year break from baseball because of World War I, Pascal moved on to the Charlotte Hornets of the South Atlantic League where he played from 1920 to 1923. He finished third in the league in batting average in 1920. While in the Southern League, he was nicknamed the man who hit sticks of dynamite. At the conclusion of the 1920 season, Paschal's contract was purchased by the Boston Red Sox with an option to keep him if he met certain playing expectations. He appeared in nine games for the Red Sox. His first game brought three hits against pitcher Jose Acosta of the Washington Senators and in total he batted .357 with five runs batted in. But the Red Sox believed he lacked fielding experience and he returned to Charlotte. In August 1921 Pascal was sold to the Rochester Red Wings. However, while sliding in a game on August 20, 1921 he suffered a broken leg which sidelined him for the rest of the season and voided the contract with the Red Wings. He was hitting .317. At the time of the injury, in 1922 Pascal played in 142 games hitting .326 with 18 home runs, and improved these figures in 1923 achieving 200 hits, 22 triples and 26 home runs in 141 games, for a batting average of .351 the fourth best in the league. Pascal began the 1924 season with the Atlanta Crackers of the Southern Association. He scored 136 runs while batting .341 and stealing 24 bases. Yankees career The New York Yankees bought Pascal from the Crackers near the end of the 1924 season, and he played in four games. His only three hits as well as three RBI came in a defeat. 
by the Detroit Tigers on September 19. During spring training, Pascal narrowly escaped serious injury while traveling on a bus. The vehicle rolled backwards down a hill and Pascal, along with several other teammates, jumped off before it hit a tree at high speed. The media expected Pascal to be Babe Ruth's understudy prior to the 1925 season, but Ruth collapsed at Nashville. North Carolina train station just before the regular season's start. Emergency surgery for a intestinal abscess left him hospitalized for six weeks. Originally Pascal was only to be used against left-handed pitchers, but Yankees manager Miller Huggins named him as Ruth's temporary replacement in the outfield. In the first game of the year, Pascal hit a home run in a 5-1 win against the defending World Series champion Washington. Senators, after another game-winning home run against the Senators two weeks later. The New York press noted that he was making fans forget about Babe Ruth. Paschal's weakness against right-handed pitches prompted the Yankees to acquire veteran outfielder Bobby Veach, but his declining skills allowed Pascal to retain his position on the team. He hit another game-winning home run against the Cleveland Indians on May 23. At the time, Pascal was fifth in the league in batting average at .403 behind Sammy Hale, Ty Cobb, Tris Speaker, and teammates Earl Combs. His six home runs in May set a Yankee rookie record for a month, later equaled by Joe Gordon then topped by Shane Spencer's nine in September 1998. Ruth returned to the lineup on June 1, relegating Pascal to the bench. In July, an injury to Combs allowed Pascal to start several games in center field. He then started the majority of August and all of September when Bob Musel moved to third base to cover for an injured Joe Dugan. He hit two home runs during a September 8 game against the Red Sox, but his season ended when he was hit on the leg with a pitch on September 12 against the Philadelphia Athletics. In 89 games, Paschal's batting average for the season was .36070 points higher than Ruth with 12 home runs and 56 RBI. Paschal was set to enter the 1926 season as the fourth outfielder, for which he was sent a new contract, after threatening to hold out for more money. The Yankees sent him a new contract which he signed on February 17 for an estimated $7,000. He began the season as a pinch hitter but injuries quickly took their toll on the Yankees. Pascal started most of July and August replacing an injured Musel, who broke her bone in his right foot. Pascal hit an inside-the-park home run in a victory against the Indians on July 9. With the Yankees in a close pennant race in mid-August, Pascal hit a home run in a loss to the Detroit Tigers. Further successes came with a vital pinch hit double in a win against the Athletics on September 6 and a home run on September 8. The Yankees clinched the pennant on September 15, and Pascal scored the game-winning single. The Yankees faced the street. Lewis Cardinals in the 1926 World Series and Pascal pinch hitting for Joe Dugan. Singled in Lou Gehrig tying the contest at 2-2 in the ninth inning of Game 5. Tony Latsuri hit a sacrifice fly in the tenth to win the game for the Yankees. But they lost the next two games and the series. He had played in 96 games hitting seven home runs, with 32 runs batted in. Before the 1927 season, Pascal returned his playing contract unsigned because of a salary dispute. By that time, the Yankees were forming the nucleus of what became the murderers' row teams of the late 1920s. He signed for an estimated $8,000 a 13% raise. In the season opening win against the Athletics, Right field starter Babe Ruth struck out twice and popped out, forcing Huggins to replace him with Pascal in the sixth inning. 
as the last man ever to pinch hit for Ruth Pascal singled. In one of his few starts of the 1927 season Pascal was a single short of hitting for the cycle, and almost had three home runs. Replacing the injured Bob Musil Pascal hit two home runs, a triple that was yards shy of a home run and a double which bounced off the right field stands. During an 11-2 rout of the Indians, Pascal did not play in the Yankees' 1927 World Series victory over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Overall he played in 50 games primarily as a pinch hitter. After the season Pascal was discussed as a trade for Boston Red Sox pitcher Red Ruffing. But discussions fell apart. Pascal was used heavily as a pinch hitter during the 1928 season. Huggins credited Paschal's timely pinch hitting as part of the Yankees' success that season. One of the few highlights of his season was his RBI pinch hit double in the tenth inning that helped. The Yankees beat the Chicago White Sox on August 4. Pascal played in 65 games that season, having a .316 batting average. He shared center field duties with Cedric Durst for an injured Earl Combs during the Yankees' win over the Cardinals in the 1928 World Series. He started the first and last games of the series on a platoon situation. Pascal faced left-handed pitches and Durst faced right-handed pitches. Before the 1929 season, Pascal and Durst were mentioned in several trade rumors and Pascal was rarely used appearing in only 42 games as a sixth outfielder in the season. A rare start came on June 1st against the White Sox when he scored a run. On July 2nd, Pascal hit a pinch hit home run for Herb Pennock in the seventh inning of a game against the Red Sox to give the Yankees a 3-2 win. He played in 42 games in his final season in the majors posting a .28 batting average in 81 at-bats. During his time with the Yankees, Pascal was considered a quiet player with a colorless personality. His appearances were limited by the presence of future Hall of Famers Ruth and Combs and star Bob Musil in the outfield. He was part of a group including Lou Gehrig and Mark Koenig which preferred watching a film. To carousing after a game, they were dubbed the team's movie crowd. Later career After the 1929 season Pascal was along with Will Seymour and Johnny Grabowski, part of a trade for catcher Bubbles Hargrave to the St. Paul Saints of the American Association. In one 1930 game against the Toledo Mud Hens, Pascal had four hits and 4 RBI in a 23-4 win that broke the AA record for most runs scored in a game. In 144 games, Pascal finished the 1930 season with 204 hits, 10 home runs and a .350 batting average. The following season Pascal played 121 games to hit .336 while his average in 1932 was .325 in 147 games. During one game in the 1932 season, Pascal had three doubles and three singles tying the AA record for most hits in a game. His skills declined during the 1933 season. In 130 games he hit just .272 with seven home runs. He left St. Paul and signed as a free agent with the Knoxville Smokies on December 30, 1933. The Street, Petersburg Evening Independent reported a few months later that Pascal was struggling to keep his job in the minors. He was released by Knoxville and signed with the Scranton Miners of the New York Penn League. After a few games with the minors, Pascal returned home to North Carolina where he accepted a managerial job for a semi-professional baseball team in Catawba County. Personal life Pascal was married and had a child, Ben Jr. He died in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the age of 79 and is interred at Sharon Memorial Park.
brought to you by wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?